Oftentimes when an organization succeeds or fails, they say it's a leadership issue. They succeeded because leadership was great or they failed because leadership was poor. Personally, I believe that when an organization succeeds or fails, it's a combination of leadership and followership. For many years, many decades, we've become so fixated on the discussion on the topic of leadership. Organizations spend thousands of dollars training a fraction of its employees on critical leadership skills. And sometimes they will barely mention it at all. But the truth of the matter is, we fulfill both roles simultaneously. The followership role is just as vital, just as critical as being a leader. Leadership is all about followership. Former chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Colin Powell. He said, Leadership is all about followership. You aren't really a leader if no one is willing to follow you. He said, That's not rocket science, but in this day and age, in this society, when people create titles and status, we have a tendency to forget that little fact. Just push it aside. I believe that in order for us really to accomplish or to accomplish the mission of our organizations, we have to come together, we have to recognize that we have two roles that we serve. We, we fulfill them simultaneously. And I have a little acronym that I like to use to drive home this point on followership. It's called TKO. To understand your role as a leader, as a follower, first and foremost, the T stands for take a good look within. The K stands for know your role. And the O stands for operate for a team. I'm amazed that when you give a person the title, the title that designates them as the leader, the whole posture change, changes. The whole demeanor changes. They're excited, they pump up, they're excited about what they're doing. They rally the troops up. They stay, they come early and they stay late. Leader. But the same person, when they're removed to a different location, they have to serve in a follower role. The meaning changes. It's all right to have an ego. An overinflated ego is to a team what a lit match is to a follower. Not only does the exemplary follower and more effective follower. This is the individual who's, who has great critical thinking skills, analytical thinking skills, positive, high octane, energetic. If something's going wrong, they'll let the boss know. If there's a problem, then here's a problem, but I have a solution for you. The exemplary follower is the one who takes the initiative, the one who's also vision minded, who sees the big picture and can participate in change. If something's going wrong in the organization, they don't join the bad place, they don't know. We can't tolerate that type of device. They don't join in with gossip and things. They support the leader. And again, if the leader is doing something wrong, they'll let the leader know. They're not afraid to. Exemplary followers. As a leader, you determine the followership culture. You set the tone as the leader. What type of people do you want following you? Do you want people who just passively do whatever you tell them to do? Or do you want to be the type of leader that fosters a courageous followership in Rob? Ira Chandler, he's the author of the book called The Courageous Follower. <coughs> Mr. Caleb. I believe that there are five attributes that describe a courageous follower. A courageous follower has the courage to take moral action when needed. The courage to assume responsibility. The courage to assume responsibility for the common goal or the common purpose. A courageous follower participates in transformation. 
a courageous follower, energetically supports the leader and the group members. And finally, a courageous follower constructively, constructively challenges counterproductive policies and behavior. Courageous followership. You have to deliberately model that behavior that you want. It's deliberate coaching and mentoring. This lieutenant colonel got out of the office, sat at the front desk, and just started checking people in with a smile. I don't know her southern accent. Howdy, how y'all doing? She made the clients feel well. <clears throat> what she was doing, she was deliberately modeling a behavior she desired in her people. That a dynamic followership program produces individuals who, when the time arrives, can transition to lead effectively while simultaneously fulfilling their roles in their superior office. Our responsibility is set the atmosphere. Is it, is it going to be full of passive followers? Or courageous followers? We must model the behavior. How many of y'all realize that you must learn how to follow you? Just don't come out of the womb and leave. Know your role, lead the follow, embrace it, understand it, perform it to the best of your ability, regardless. You're serving and then operate with a sense of oneness, with a sense of a shared vision, a shared purpose, a common purpose, a common goal. Oneness. And I guarantee you, if you do those things, you will stay. Not only will you meet your goals, 